What's going on everyone? In this video I have a very special treat for you. I'm going to show you a demonstration of a Jelly Bean ROM, the unofficial Liquid Smooth ROM running on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this ROM is only compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE from the Rogers network and from the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket from the AT&T network. Uh, the two models <coughs> it is available for and will work on will be in the description below. Okay, So your model number must match one of the two in the description. And before I actually give you a demonstration, all credit and thanks goes to YouTube user DMSI Touch Help for um, notifying me about this ROM. It was thanks to their submission that I found out that the ROM actually existed. And uh, in my, I, I do have a video on how to install the ROM. In that video, it was uh, just just a regular, uh, I guess, beta form. Since then, it, it's actually the developer has released a release candidate one version so it's a lot more stable there are some uh, features that aren't working too well and some that they work but they're they're a bit weird I'll, I'll just show it and you guys will understand um, okay so I'll, I'll show you the proof that I'm actually running the ROM but first things first is the lock screen you can customize the background so it'll be separate from your actual home screen background uh, you can put a clock uh, weather widget, you can put your um, ownership information like who this phone belongs to, you can swipe to unlock to the camera, Google Now, and just regular unlock by default. And of course you can change the camera unlock application, you can add one here and here. So you can add two more, okay? So you unlock, uh, the first thing I want to show you is proof that I'm actually running Jelly Bean. Uh, okay, so we have the model number is SGH-I727. Even though I'm on the Rogers network, um, it doesn't say I727R. The reason being is because it, this ROM is a Skyrocket ROM. It just gets rid of the R if you're a Rogers user like me. And of course, the model number showing here is the exact at t model number. Okay, and there's Android 4.1.1. Liquid Smooth version, uh, release candidate one. RC1 rather. So if you keep tapping the thing, you even have the jelly bean Easter egg. Okay, so there's your proof that I'm actually running the ROM. Um, as for the UI, you have stock ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. It's the same thing actually. Ice cream sandwich and jelly bean have the same uh, UI. Same with the apps drawer. And of course, you got the widgets up here. Uh, settings can be easily accessible are easily accessible rather from the notification bar when you drag it down just tap all these little gears up here and there you get your uh, settings okay so the, the chunk of the ROM is actually in the uh, settings menu um, so one of the, the things I told you about that are, is kind of weird about this ROM is if you want to install an app that is not from the Google Play Store you usually go to security and then you have to change an option here that says something like allow non-market apps. Well, to access this on release candidate one, you have to go to bird nest, uh, lock screen, screen security. And, and here you'll see this is where your actual security menu is. So the, the developers are aware of this problem. They know it's in a really bizarre spot. Um, so it, it's not a big deal. It is present. They just it's, yeah, it's a bit of a funny problem. Oh, uh, before I continue any further, uh, further rather. <clears throat> sorry, it's still early in the morning. Um, any of the features or problems that I'm notifying you about now is based on release candidate one. So if they update the ROM in the future, which they actually will, um, the the any pros and cons might be different. Okay, so please read the forum thread. Um, which is linked in the video in which I show you how to install the actual ROM. Okay, so just be aware of that. I just want to give you guys a heads up that things might change a little, but it's very stable for the most part. Uh, the menu, a lot of the system, actually core system settings are based off Signage and Mod 10. The developers have said this openly. It's uh, and Signage and Mod 10 is based off Jelly Bean. Okay, so you, obviously with Jelly Bean you have Google Now, which is one of the most, uh, I guess, cooler features. So I'll show you that demo. How old is... Hmm, I've never had that happen before. Okay, let's try this again. How old is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is 50 years old. Look at that handsome man. Get out of here, Tom Cruise, you stink. Um, let's try something else. What is the weather today? The forecast for Ontario today is 19 degrees and mostly sunny. Hmm. 
Actually, not bad. It's perfect barbecue weather. That's good. And of course, you get the regular Google search results as you scroll down. So Google now seems to be working just perfectly. Uh, it is. It is obviously because it's a jelly bean ROM. It comes pre-installed. The weird thing about uh, this jelly bean ROM about pre-installation. -installa Google now comes with it because it's jelly bean, right? Well. Google Chrome is supposed to be the default browser in Jelly Bean, but for some reason you have to install it from Google Play. And the default browser is still the ice, the stock ice cream sandwich browser. I'm not sure why that is. Um, the, the browser from the ice cream sandwich ROM is a stock browser. Not a big deal because I was able to get Google Chrome from Google Play. Uh, it's just I found it a little strange, um, but no biggie. Camera seems to be working great. Um, you got the stock camera. Video recording works fine. I haven't tested Panorama, but I'm pretty sure it works all right. I mean, it's not too used of a feature. Uh, everything works superb. Saves files just fine. Now, there, there's the only big problem I could find with this ROM is that when you're playing back audio of any type, whether it be from your gallery or even a, a song, or if you're trying to set a ringtone for a specific contact and you try to play it back, you get no audio playback. Even when your speakers are set to see my sound is currently on, even when it's set on, it just won't play back. Now, what I've found out by accident is simply touching the volume button up, even while nothing's playing, no audio is playing. So simply like that. Um, and then I try playing an audio file again, then it works. So I'm, I'm not sure what the problem is. And when I actually read up on the forum link to see if anyone else had this same problem with release candidate one, it turns out a lot of people are explaining the same issue. And another user did the same thing as I did by accident, simply tapping the volume button up and then the audio works just fine. So <clears throat> Yeah, you'll, you'll have to just play around with it. Uh, gallery works fine. Wi-Fi works great. Bluetooth works great. Uh, NFC chip works fine because I have tested um, Android Beam with my Nexus 7. Transferring files, is, it works just fine. Uh, data works fine. Phone calls, text, blah, 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 the usual. The only thing I cannot test is LTE. Um, I don't have an LTE data plan, even though this is an LTE phone. I, re I have a regular data plan. So HSPA plus data speed works just great so LT I, I, I haven't tested okay so I apologize about that <clears throat> excuse me I have a bit of a cold today uh, oh yeah one last little thing or two last little things you can customize the notification drawer up here uh, by going to system settings bird nest interface uh, notifications and here you can change the you can select which notification buttons and you can change the order there's a whole bunch if I went to every single setting in the bird's nest it would make this video half an hour long so I'm not gonna do that um, what else if you get a missed call or text email whatever anything missed anything these buttons here will light up um, just like that see how it just lit up and they'll flash the screen will stay off but these buttons will flash because our phone does not have a notification LED light same with the skyrocket uh, so when you get a missed call text whatever these LED buttons here will start lighting up saying hey you gotta turn your screen on and check what message or email you missed or phone call because something's waiting for you and if for some reason it, it doesn't work okay from here what you have to do is go to display notification light and custom values, you might have to check mark it, and you might have to add the applications manually, like I see here. So you might have to add, say using hand sent SMS, you might have to add that manually. So that's all this stuff I could find. Remember, this is this is a demonstration, and I found the pros and cons for release candidate one, RC1. So in the future, if you see like RC2, RC3, or it's stable, the pros and cons might be different, okay? But you get the gist of it, it's very stable. This is the closest thing we have to, oh, a fully stable jelly bean ROM for the Skyrocket and the Rogers Galaxy S2 LTE um, because quite honestly um, Samsung is there's a rumor that the Galaxy S2 will receive official jelly bean sometime in quarter four which is like between October and January I believe but because we're running an LTE device our update for Jelly Bean will be much, much longer. And quite honestly, the touch whiz that comes with some from Samsung is pretty bad. So I suggest you try this ROM. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, feel free to check my website in the description below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.